Hey there, do a little video walkthrough of the changes that we made to the system this go around. First of all, we added a fourth Battleborn battery. So you can see there was just a little bit of space that was left in the original install here in the bench. This is where our couch used to be. And this is a custom bench that was built by Eddie Glonick. The top is not on obviously right now, but it does have a, a cover with a uh, cushion. But uh, he had left just enough space to the left of the three original batteries. So the fourth battery is now in place and uh, giving us more capacity, 400 amp hours of lithium. On top of that, we had added a second inverter. As you can see that we have a Victron MultiPlus 3000, which is an inverter charger. It's an amazing inverter, and that powers pretty much everything that we need here in our rig, which includes uh, appliances like uh, air fryer or um, coffee maker, uh, microwave, etc., toaster oven. Uh, but it does use a lot of power um, at idle when it's just sitting there not doing a whole lot and uh, because we are using some constant loads such as uh, Starlink internet which takes about 50 watts or so on average uh, we're using more power than we really need to and uh, can't really turn the inverter off when we're not using it for big loads so what we decided to do is get ourselves a small inverter this is a Victron Phoenix 250 watt inverter. So it can only handle uh, surges up to 400 watts, but it's perfect for small loads like the uh, Starlink internet, the router and the um, satellite dish. And uh, of course it can also run things like a computer or charge things. So you can see down in there, there's a heavy duty extension cable that comes out of the AC output and that runs underneath the belly of the camper underneath under and pops out over here in this little cabinet which is empty at the moment but you can see the extension cord pop out of the floor and goes through this access panel and then we added a outlet right here and you can see it says 250 watt max load on it that is uh, our Starlink internet and uh, my computer and um, some other charging items on there so really great to have um, a dedicated outlet which has its own inverter so what's nice about it is that we can turn on and off because it's not a smart inverter but it can be read by the by the Serbo. This is the screen that is an extension of the Serbo GX, which is right here. And this was uh, using a VE direct cable, which goes in the back here. Can't quite see it. Uh, via uh, a, a VE direct to USB. And that allows the Serbo to see the inverter. So as you can see, here's our main inverter and getting a little afternoon sun here the main inverter is on and so is the phoenix inverter this uh, allows us to remotely control it through the panel so it can simply turn it on and off right here and uh or put it into eco mode and you can see that it's putting out somewhere between 70 and 80 watts right now um and uh the multiplus as well can be turned off and all sorts of things um can be done to the multiplus as it's, it's a little smarter. Um, this also means that we can view it in the Victron remote uh, VRM management system because it doesn't really give us much, but there is some logging that's done, but I can't really control it unless I use the remote console. So, uh, but a huge upgrade in the fact that we have another 100 amp hours of battery, so now four. And we have uh, now this Phoenix small inverter 
The reason we chose the Phoenix is for one, we know it, it could talk at least in a limited way to the GX um, to, so that we can um, view it within the panel so that when we have our bench in the, as a seat, it's a little inconvenient to flip the inverter on and off. They do make a remote switch for it, but since we can do it with our software, uh, we don't really need to do that. And of course, if you really needed to, you could just reach in there and hit the switch but that would in, uh, require us to dismantle our couch. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, in eco mode, supposedly it uh, runs uh, under one watt of uh, standby. So the idea would be that whenever um, we're not making power via solar, that we would just turn off the main inverter when we're not using it, especially at night uh, when we're sleeping. And you could just turn it off and save a bunch of power and a bunch of standby power as well as uh, just keep wear and tear down on the big multi plus so that's the upgrade in the battery um, as you can see Eddie had to move our temperature meter which was mounted in this area but we've run out of wall space as you can see so uh, the temperature the temperature um, gauge the thermostat takes its temperature from the top of the multiplus, which is the, probably the hottest part of our unit. And then that thermostat controls these two big computer fans in the box that moves um, air, keeps it cool when the top is on. And uh, Eddie built this wall around, so we really didn't have a good place to put the new inverter. So we used some of the storage space, but now it's blocked off so that items that are in storage can't, um, damage or run into the lead wires. Of course, this is the DC wires that are running over to the batteries and a breaker so that we can um, keep that part of the system safe as well as turn power off to completely if we need to. And so that's uh, the power upgrades. Pretty sweet. Uh, in addition to that, I extended our DC power. We have this neat little DC power box, which will um, power a laptop up to 70, I think 75 watts uh, USB-C. So um, this cable that's running out of it runs up under the cabinet and then has an extension that pops out here in the wall so that uh, previously we just had our cables coming out of this door, which wasn't too bad. But now we have a nice dedicated power uh, area that is uh, kind of tucked in out of the way in the corner. So we have USB-A, um, which is a high power, and uh, USB-C power delivery coming right out of the wall, which is just an extended um, port from the um, unit that's inside the cabinet.